guys. Welcome back to the vlog. Woo! Is that how he usually does it? Do I sound like him? Hey, what are you doing? I'm making your vlog. That's my job. I'm better than you, like a lot. You need to do your homework. But I don't want to do homework. I want to vlog. I don't care. Go do your homework. I want to film and like make movies and stuff and vlogs. Yeah, don't come out here. Don't. Just leave me alone. Fine. <laughs> What's up guys, Ian Gray here. So for the longest time I've really wanted to do a like what's in my camera bag because I've actually had tons of people ask me, oh what kind of gear do you use? Oh my gosh that must be so expensive. What about this? What about that? And to tell you the truth, a lot of my gear is pretty budget. So I just thought I'd go into more detail and tell you guys exactly what's in my camera bag. So right off the bat, I have this nice little camera bag. I bought it about two years ago, and to be honest, I don't remember what the heck it's called. I just know I paid like 35 bucks for it. You don't really need any kind of super, super nice one as long as it's weather sealed, especially for going outside in the rain. There's a lot of companies actually that sell them and they look just like this. And honestly, just look up camera retro bag and you can get them for like 35 bucks. It just does the job. Let's talk camera gear. I'm currently shooting on my Canon EOS R. I got this probably about a month ago because I dropped my other one in a longboard crash. Attached to that is the Canon EF 16-35 f2.8 Mark II. That is a mouthful. Anyway, that lens, um, I got it for about half price, probably like four weeks ago, and it is a lifesaver. However, if you're looking for more of a budget lens, I recommend the 17-40 f4 and that's significantly cheaper than this one. I just really wanted the f2.8 aperture. So if I decide to go out and do a nice little photo shoot, I use Canon 50mm 1.8. Now this, I believe, um, as Peter McKinnon says, is Canon's most underrated lens. Clearly the 50mm is a little tight, so if you're doing astrophotography like these, it definitely can be more difficult trying to get that really wide angle, maybe some landscapes or even the Big Dipper. If I were to do the astrophotography with this lens, it looks like this. Much wider, I'm able to get that really pretty telephone pole to the left over there, as well as some trees. Now I know this totally depends on how nervous you are, or whatever, but I personally only need three SD cards. And those are the SanDisk Extreme 150 megabytes a second, 64 gig SD cards. Okay, let's talk about my drone. I have the DJI Mavic Air. Now I gotta admit, this thing is a little beast. With its top speed of 40 miles an hour, which is, don't get me wrong, ludicrous I'm able to easily keep up with my crazy cousin Sean as he bombs down hills and rips across highways on his Evolve and if you guys saw my last video that's how I captured this shot 40 miles an hour what? now with this drone I like to add all these little guys which are uh, filters by Polar Pro about a couple of months ago I decided to purchase two extra batteries from the Mavic Air and the reason for this is because so many times I only had one battery and the flight time is about 20 minutes. I get up in the air and I would think, okay, I have time for like four shots. So I would quickly like rush, 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 trying to get in those shots. And by the time I got back to start editing them, I hated the shots because they were completely rushed. So with these, it's really nice to know that if I pop in one battery, I could take the whole 20 minutes just to get that one shot that looks perfect. My tripod of choice is this bad boy. It was a thousand bucks. No, I'm just kidding. I bought it at Goodwill like five years ago for $10. I'm telling you guys right now, this is the kind of gear you don't want to put a lot of money into. Clearly when I start doing film full time, I'll put my money into a really nice one. But right now, this one works just fine. Seriously guys, don't blow your money on a nice tripod. My first portable storage device was the WD Passport Ultra. It had about two tire bites. And this is what it kind of looks like. These aren't too bad. You can get these I think for 80 bucks now because they're not SSDs unfortunately. Because I started doing so much work with uh, clients and wedding films, I got the Samsung T5 one terabyte version. Now this thing is just tiny, minuscule. I can just put it in my pocket. It's great on the go. Throw it in my camera bag. It easily can take a beating. I haven't dropped it once, luckily. I've dropped the one that's much more fragile. But this is my little workhorse. Okay, so if I can tell you guys one thing, you can never have too many backups. The uh, Seagate eight terabyte. 
This sucker just sits on my shelf. I turn it on probably once every other month just to do a solid backup of all my videos. But this is great because it's not even close to being full. I've had it for multiple years. If I go and shoot a wedding, before I even come back and start editing that video, I make sure to back up everything to not only my small two terabyte hard drive, but also the eight terabyte. Well, that's it. That's my 2020 what's in my camera bag. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I also hope that you learned something in the process because not only do I do this for myself, but I also do it because I hope to inspire you guys to follow your creative journey and see where it takes you. So yeah. Something's not right. Did I forget something? Oh! Hey! Where'd you go? Come on! Wait, 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 wait! I edit all my videos and photos on my... Ah, <laughs> oh, bird poo! Grody! <laughs> Cause I got nothing better to do with my life. Wow, I'm such a butt. One thing I can recommend. Stop chirping! I see you right there. I'm gonna get my Nerf gun. I'm making a video. Stop. I'm gonna get my Nerf gun. Mm. I can't believe how much work you put into that stupid video at the beginning. You know, for someone who's so tired, I'm surprised that you were able to talk that fast. Leave me alone.